Hey y'all, it's Stephen Van Camp and Lewis on Memorial Day. So it is Monday, May 30th. Of course, I, I'm gonna post this on the following Saturday, that first Saturday of June. But today I figured I'd do a quick a quick tour of of my greenhouse, which is really just a patio here on the apartment. And uh, you know, one of I just want to clear something up. One of the things that uh, several folks have asked me is, hey, did you get a divorce? Is that why you're in an apartment? No, that, that's not why. Uh, and, but I do appreciate all the uh, the questions and the, the sort of well wishes. Um, but it's just that uh, the family and I have, our house is across the highway and it's being renovated and then we're gonna sell it and move to a different city here in Texas, uh, much closer to San Antonio. It's actually called Bernie, probably is where we'll, where we'll move. Um, but so no, I, I am not divorced. I, I am, <laughs> the wife is inside right now and so are the kids. Uh, so, that said, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you, I have sort of different areas for different orchids. Uh, you can see the open space behind me, the sun is coming in, it's about 10.30 in the morning, and this faces southeast, roughly, so, um, but of course, it's almost summertime, so the sun is getting overhead rather quickly, so, my orchids are, are getting sort of blasted with full sun for you know some hours in the morning and then they get um, basically unobstructed shade for most of the day, which is, is not great, especially since I have a bunch of sun lovers, but you know, it is what it is. I'm just trying to keep these guys alive and happy uh, for the, this particular growing season. And then hopefully this time next year, I'll be in my new house and with a new setup and of course, I'll show you tons of videos about that, uh, but let's let's turn this camera around and start looking at some orchids. So, I'll give you a quick overview and then we'll zoom in on some of the different areas. So, as you can see in the sunlight up there, that is where I have my brightest growers, the Certipodiums, and the uh, what used to be called Neobenthamia gracilis. You can see it's kind of like grass-like over here. Uh, that's Polystachia neobenthamia now. And then I have some of these uh, Catleas here in the back, and the, and the the sun will slowly make its way over here, and then for at least a couple hours, and then it gets dark for them again. So these ones here in the back are getting the least amount of light, but we're still getting decent blooms. It's purpurata season. This is the one that I filmed and showed a week or two ago, so it's it's starting to fade. But uh, I have another one that's a first bloom here that's coming out. So the, the shadiness isn't terrible. The, the, I'm, still, I'm still getting blooms. Um, I've got another spike over here on a Schomburkia hybrid. Uh, and I had a, a, a cloth, a, a shade cloth like that, over this whole group because at one point there it was getting full sun for, for quite a bit of the day, but now that the sun is higher in the sky, it, it's not a problem and uh, the plants need more light. So uh, I took the shade cloth off that and the shade cloth is only left there. That's where the catacetums are. And that is the brightest part that gets the most amount of sun for the, for the longest part of the day. Uh, so over here we have more catleas. I had that shade cloth over this as well and I actually cut it in half two days ago. And but it, So it caused this purpurata to be kind of bunched. This is actually a really nice one. I do like it a lot. I don't know if the sun is kind of messing with the image right now. The, of course, my I use a, uh, an iPhone for my camera, and sometimes it has difficulty in these bright and dark situations where the brightness and the darkness are next to each other. But you can see um, this is that big purpurata that I like to say is this is what your purpurata bulbs should look like. This one's a little shriveled, probably not getting enough sun, but th this is the size of the bulbs that you want your purpuratas to be or at least like this. Ideally, your blooms look better than this, but you know, these are less than ideal conditions for these guys. I have some, I have my Phalaenopsis down here, and I've got um, Cattleya pumila that I got actually a flask of from the, the plant propagator, who's a gentleman who's got his own YouTube channel, which I really enjoy. He's, he's down there in Florida. Um, and before I lift the shade cloth off of there, the catacetums, to show you what I've got in bloom right now, I'm going to turn the camera around over here, and you can see that I've got these guys that are actually under lights. So 
um, you know, th this will be just a standard day. This this was the light that I had in that grow tent, actually. This, I got this from Car Carnivoro. Uh, he grows a, a lot of carnivorous plants, and his uh, Drew Martinez is the owner, and his background is actually in optics for plants, so his his lights are top-notch. You know, that's, that's what he was trained to do was... Uh, optics and he has used that well in his his plant business in fact he grows carnivorous plants and I've got a few here this is Vici and then I've got uh, Vogelii over here just got my my first upper pitcher again under less than ideal conditions but it's still it's still cool so as you can see I have my my seedlings and, and small plants here Peristeria alata over here and this one is Neomoria wallisii. I'm really excited for both of these to bloom, hopefully in the near future, but again, we'll see about blooming them here on the patio. Got my Mexipedium over here. It's starting to put out a spike right there. And then these, this is that Lelia or Catlea lobata that I made a video of last week and I'm sending this to Paula. Uh, uh, she has Hillbilly Orchids, of course, her own YouTube channel. She's over there in West Virginia. And then I'm adding a few. I've got a, a Lelia uh, Pulcarima, which is a primary hybrid between Lobata and Purpurata, and then a, a Purpurata here. Purpurata is one of her favorites, so I'm excited to send this over to her. But let's peel back that Catacetum shade cloth and see what we have in there right now. So you can see that the sun is very, very bright on these guys. I've got some buds that are about to pop open here. I've got some buds here. Um, and everything is starting to leaf out quite a bit. So I'll have to think about shading. And I don't know. I don't think I, there's much I can do about any of the shading. But... If you think back to last week's video, I had that Catacetum Chuck Taylor uh, about to open, and you can see it's opening right there. So let's pull that guy out and see, see what it looks like. So here's that Chuck Taylor just opening up, and you can see that that's going to be a pretty nice show. I'm excited for these guys to open up. Those colors are beautiful. And maybe I'll make that my next video. I'll do a quick show and tell once these buds open up and the one from the other plant as well. Anyway, that's it. That's the tour.